What's up guys? This is the Rifle and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. Um, and in this episode we actually fought a bit of a dodgy battle um, near against the, the Spaniards here, but uh, we have still got a significant number of troops um, in the region, so what I want to do is kind of rebuild and regroup my uh, my forces and probably have to focus more deliberately on trying to attack and destroy uh, this clump. Which probably means that I have to keep recruiting more men in Tangier. But then, Great Britain is secure. We are still at war with the, the Russians. We're right outside the gates of Moscow. So we know that's going to be happening. These guys are... They're going to put their... Well, they are going to push and knock out that Russian force here and then push up to Petrovskaya. We need to keep an eye on Finland because they will be angry with us because we now own Ingria. This force here in Minsk could push out and hit the Russians there at Babiusk. Hmm, a lot of things that can be done. How much are we earning per turn? 60,000. That's a that's a healthy, healthy income. So we've got, yeah, there's our troops attacking the Marathas there. We've got some troops attacking the French there. Everything's pretty good. I mean, obviously we've got the, the Indian factions we need to deal with at some point. And we've also got the uncomfortable fact that we share a border with the Ottomans and they can transition our territory because they do have um, military access. Okay, good. For a minute I thought we talked about lies. I was thinking, you're not lying to me, are you? Um, okay. So what do I want to do? I've also got this army. I could surge them forward to attack this territory here, but there's not really a need to do that. I mean, I seem attacking Moscow is a naturally a good option. To be honest, I've only got one unit waiting for reinforcements, so I might just I might just do it. Actually, I might put them under siege for a couple of turns because we don't have quicklime. So whittling down their numbers a bit is a is a good idea. I mean, you guys could. How are you doing? Yeah, they don't hate you. Well, they don't. They don't hate us because they've got. Oh no, they, oh, they would still like us, but they really don't like it that the Russians are now there. Well, let's push you guys out to hit the Russians in this dockyard. Then we can push up and hit Petrovskaya, and that will help. Um, bottle in the Finns. So, not the Finns. Well, yeah, the Finns, but the Swedes in this game. That will keep them um, locked up such that they can't um, break out into Russian territory. We keep an eye on them. In that case. So because we know they've got very limited forces here, it's going to be a good old bit of offensive action. Spread our cavalry out on the flanks. It would be nice to destroy them. Okay, let's get our guys running up. A bit risky. It's quite, it's quite a significant distance to run for most of these units. Our artillery is going to be focusing on their guns dug in, but we're not entirely bothered about those. As with every nation in this game, Russia is incredibly infantry dependent, so we just need to, to clear them out. I mean, it looks like they are not abandoning their position on the right. But certainly they are changing their position enough that we can just advance much directly into their faces. Yeah, these guys are probably pretty tired. Yeah, they're winded. So it's the 36th, the 28th, 13th foot guards, the 10th, 45th. I was hoping we'd be able to draw some of these guys into a musket battle. 
but it looks like they are going to not accept the bait. Or are they? Where's my cavalry? I'm getting lots of sound pipe problems. So my gunners focus on bombarding units behind the line. Yeah, we've drawn them in. They've decided they do want to to fight us. Just advance up our line in general. Let's push up and get ready to surround the second a bit more comprehensively. General's bodyguard's trying to charge someone. The 11th has been hit by General's, another General's bodyguard unit. It's got a cavalry up on the flank. Yeah, you should stay in square. Obviously we've got sound problemas. I mean, you guys should make these uh, make the, the gunners route in fairly short order. I'm in form square. You guys get out of square because it looks like the... Well, we are getting... Ooh. The Bjorni Streltsy. Get my hussars in there. So the 2nd Regiment should definitely fall under the concentrated firepower of two line infantry units and a guard unit. Granted it's not maximum firepower. But it's enough. The fourth foot, the fourth engineers, they're not going to stick around for very long. You men hit the tenth in the flank. Yeah, they're wavering. They're not very happy with the state of affairs. Can we successfully make them route? No, we can't. Let's commit my general to start to chase down some of these scallywags. Let's get my hussars out of there. They're wavering, but they're about to get shot to buggery. Oh, okay, doesn't matter. Port the artillery. Speed up time, because I'm pretty sure that is... Oh, there's one more unit. That may or may not stick around. I mean, they're steady, to their credit. But the 28th Regiment are not taking that lying down. They're being fired upon from multiple directions, although they decided to stop firing. But yeah, now it's speed up time. Actually, go knock out that gun gun crew, just to make sure it is knocked out. Continue the fight. Got to watch these guys. There you go. I did lose a horse because they ran back through the spikes. Get 
give them an ambitious target. Who are you? 105th. Not the 105th. Okay, looks like this unit's going to be the last unit on the field, so we may as well focus everyone on that unit. 7th Regiment. Bye bye, 7th Regiment. Hmm, more hussars, all my hussars are here. Poor souls. Come on. Close victory? No, nah, that wasn't close. It was a bit it was a bit dodgy at points, I admit. They have 357 remaining. They're falling back to Petrovskaya. So you men can replenish what you can and march onwards. My ship's going to take position back at the crossing. St. Petersburg does not have many people, 93,000. Apart from that, one more one more tent of fire in advance. I am upgrading all of the next gen buildings, which is good stuff. Ah, the Spanish are on the move. Who knew? That's what it takes for them to uh, to advance our Gibraltar is to fight a battle against them and lose. Still, that goes the Ottoman Republic. Hmm. Mighty concerned about their strength. But this is why I do want to take control of the Iberian Peninsula. Hey, they're attacking. Sweet. Well, let's get ready to cut down the defenders of Moscow. Because they will not... Uh, be able to make it to our lines. Defending against sieges from satellites like this can always be a bit frustrating because the AI can sometimes be a bit messed up in pathfinding its way out of the city. Like it will go, you know, ooh, can I get through here? No, I'm going to set up here. I'm going to run around, do this, do that. And you just think, I don't want to bother with it, but it's definitely worth doing. They're not the weakest unit. There we go. And only a handful of guns, so we're going to have to rely on massed musketry. Anchor some line infantry guards on the flank, looking lovely in their red coats with gold facings. So then the other four... I... Oh no, okay, I was just looking at the formation from a funny angle. I was thinking, have I moved? Did I steal a unit of guns from between here? Nope, there we go. Put my guardsmen on the flank. Looks like you're going to be a bit of a reserve. How is it going to fire round shot at the start? Come at us, Russians. Yeah, this is exactly it. It takes time for the AI to work out how it's going to do things. And these mortar crew should, I think, abandon their guns at a certain point and just charge out with their swords because they're fixed. Yeah, they're fixed units, but they have to attack and we're not in range, so they decide to not do that. Uh So it's going to take a bit of time for everyone to get into position. We do have these gunners that are being bold. Too bad they're not going to get to my battle line. Let's turn far it will off. Oh. It's going to let them get real close. 
So, the port gun team, you focus on European mercenaries. Yeah, <laughs> there's three guys left. One, two, where's the third guy? Oh well. But yeah, so you can see what I mean about it being a bit slow, because the AI thinks, you know, okay, let me just line up, line up, line up, line up. So you focus on their... So you guys focus on their grenadier, guard grenadier. The 12 pound howitzers focus on... They can't really, can't actually hit anything. Fine, well, however you like, it'll probably be the fifth. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back when they actually attack. So see you in a second, everyone. And in classic, uh, in classic fashion, the AI seemed to decide, oh, okay, now, so he stopped recording, now we're going to attack. So let's switch to carcass shot, focus on the firelock arm citizenry on the flank of the right for me, of the, focus on the unit on the flank. We have some cavalry pushing up. Let's focus fire them actually with round shot. They're skirmish cavalry, so we better just, it's easy to just take them out. That is a hell of a mess. You're not even shooting at who I want you to shoot at. You're still trying to hit the uh, the mortar crew. So carcass shot isn't terrible. I think of it as it's slightly worse version of quicklime. I'd rather have quick. I'd much rather have quicklime. Um, but it's not. It's not terrible. Oh, you guys switch to carcass shot. Hit the regiment of dragoons that are coming, coming up. That and they have this really cool, like, um, arcing effect with fireballs, which I think looks pretty neat. See, they do have 140 light cavalry sat back here. Again, it is skirmish cavalry. I know it might seem a bit odd to fire at the firelock arm citizenry rather than something else, but it's all about trying to secure the most vulnerable parts of the flank. Fortunately, they hit our guards, so we should be able to hold them off fairly dependably. Because it's chiefly that Firelock Arm citizenry that's attacking on a bit of a weird direction, but our guards should win there. Cavalry been destroyed. How it says over here, focus on the militia. Okay, let's go back into square. <laughs> Look, so I safe run into square, but my guys run out and decide to commit seppuku in the battle on the open ground. Let's run this unit of line out onto the right to try and help secure it. You men switch to car uh, canister shot and begin to attack the infantry heading your way. The militia are the focus because they they will push up and attack my men in um, melee combat, which I really don't want. I want them to stay out at range where I can use my firepower to beat them.
Come on, lads. See them off. You got pikemen on the flank left as well. So I really want to push back this advancing block as well as I can. So there go the Grenadier Guards. Let's hit the 12th Regiment because they are putting out quite a good chunk of firepower. I would very much like to beat these guys so I could wrap this flank around start doing some good stuff. Put, pull these guys back. You guys hit the pikes. Good. Mass route. That's what you want to see. So you made about face. Reload. So yeah, they, they're coming back. But that's the kind of thing I can get behind. Them routing and deciding, you know what, actually I'm going to come back. And then they get shot at again while they advance. Fire at will, the 64th. Good stuff. Pikemen have been pushed back, switched to round shot, hit militia. So they are just broken, they aren't shattered. We do have some enemy reinforcements to be aware of. And they came back. Probably is a good idea just to keep doing this again, even though it is tiring them out and slowing it down, slowing down their fighting ability and lots of other good reasons. But it's a dumb idea. Keep those guys pushing them. Get these guys up and around, pushing the flank. How it's a uh, focus on the 12th Regiment of Foot there. So the militia have made combat. Made, they've made. Um, well, they've they've reached our lines. I hear focus on the Cossack infantry coming in from the rear. Keep pouring fire into the pikes because they're coming to get you. Not anymore. They're not. There goes the. Um, citizenry, so let's bring you guys up. You guys blast the 13th. You guys hit these Tartars back there. They do have some guns, but most of their reinforcements are a bit... Well, the Simonievsky foot guards are no... they're no slouches. The 12th Regiment's taken a bit of a hammering. But let's take... No, oh, these guys are okay actually for now. These Cossacks are about to march into their gun sights. You try hit the Tartar. Come on, you fellows, march into our gun sights. Poor, poor souls. Why fight for the Russians when you could join us? We've killed their general, sir. Yeah, 
these, these Cossacks are not going to be around for too long. Fire! Some garrison militia have come back. But you fellows, advance! Tatar routing. New men form a new line. The Simonievsky foot guards are coming in. And they look pretty. I think they look pretty good. Simonovsky. Not Simonovsky, Simonovsky. Not so sure about the camouflage. Switched around shot. So here are some of their reinforcements. Eastern European Mercenaries, Butryski Regiment of Foot. I don't care how good your regiments of foot are. You guys run. go. Just keep advancing. So who's in here? Tata. Okay. Two sets of gunners. Make a hole. Ah, console. If they want to turn this into something like a siege, then they can have, they can, they can have it. So if that's the case, let's speed up time. Limber up our howitzers, because they're not doing anything. Trundle up our howitzers. You men scale the wall. You men scale that section. You guys run up, ready to create a little killing zone. Oh, the damn Cossacks. Just run in and surround them. It's not a deal breaker, it's just a... Annoyance! Charge! Keep attacking them. General's bodyguard hit the Cossacks. You men also help him out. Both you guys, well, I was going to say scale the walls, but you're not all going to scale the wall. Push up and engage the enemy. To be honest, I might stop attacking the walls and just... Might actually just try climb them. If these guys scale the walls, they'll have... They'll be able to put up crazy amounts of firepower. Well, these Tartars are now trapped. Unless these guys scale the walls to get a way out. stop attacking you guys instead attack the 8th regiment just get everyone on the walls don't bother don't bother attacking just climb the walls and uh, fire down into them 
they're trying to engage us. But I think the sheer firepower that we could bring to bear was a bit of a shock. Push up to engage that last Cossack unit. To be honest, it looks like all of their reserves have been called in. As our men swarm all. The frustrating thing is this won't count as a <laughs> this won't count as an assault. We'll just climb up there and they'll go, oh okay. You win this time. Okay, they're definitely going to come back. They've only lost 40 men. Yeah, they're firing their bows and arrows at us, and they will get some kills, but... When my men take position on the, on the fire step... It's going to be very bad for them. And there we go, so there goes... There comes back the... Enemy regiment of foot. But I want to see this. I want to see these guys. Once they're up. There we go. So they're all going to do this. And however many they kill, men can just run up and take the position. cavalry are now useless so when these guys get up there they'll cover quite a big stretch of wall to fire down into Tata 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 and there's nothing you can do about it those men are very bravely formed ranks to begin to engage. But we have this unit that's now going to take up position on this section. Yes. So many muskets. So much silly cavalry trapped in a little cauldron. So they're being shot from all over there, and they're going to get shot at from these guys as well. <laughs> That's how you kill a cavalry unit. You just trap it somewhere. Oh. <laughs> they escape, the doors open when they try and rout. That's kind of lame. Oh well. That's the, uh, the garrison of Moscow. Significantly battered. 1,900 remaining. So, once I take Moscow, we are still going to have a highly frustrated um, city. Are the Barbary State's actually going to... You sabotage tenanted farms. What a waste. Lithuania. College of Divinity. Let's move this chap over to Moscow, I think. New port emerges in Guatemala. So let's get a let's get a uh, infantry unit to guard that. Newport emerges in Hispaniola, another trade port. Let's get a sloop and let's get some production upgrades. Let's get ooh, get some metal roads for Cuba and Hispaniola. Eastport, Maine. Let's get a trading port there. Let's get an iron workshop. Let's get another sloop to go occupy that port. Let's upgrade the fur trader. Enemy raids. So we've got shortened carbines. I know we've got fire in advance. They've gone on to shortened carbines, which I really don't want them to bother with. So you may as well instead go for... Steam pumps, land drainage, maybe? Rockets. I mean, as I go for Sean Carbines, at least it's the quickest one. Fleet arrives. Oh, that's not surely not the plan for you. Oh, because you've got you've got a spy on board. So let's get the spy disembarked here. Ships orders. 
There we go, and then you chaps can make landfall near Lisbon. So if Arturo Cruz tries to take our mighty territory, they're going to have to fight for it. So this big force is going to go and attack, put the guys in Porto and auto resolve that. So we're going to repair the commercial port, replenish all our troops and get you guys sitting to the north. These guys are more than enough to deal with what's to deal with this guy. But importantly, it has drawn away some of their troops. Fleet arrives, that was the other ship. Lots of constructions. Let's get some of these craft workshop upgrades because they are they're low impact and they earn us a good amount of cash. Okay, so what I might have to do as well is make sure I'm rolling out my road upgrades. Okay, let's move the sloop over to Tampico. Let's upgrade the commercial port to um, do not upgrade it to a commercial basin, probably not. Not when I can get two road upgrades for it. Just keep rolling it out. I'm making so much money. I don't have to be as focused on making sure I maximize my investment. In general, I am I am fundamentally investing in my tax base across the board. So max making sure I'm doing the most efficient thing possible isn't something I'm that wor worried about. So this army's got a bunch of artillery. More troops crewed in England. More troops crewed in Portugal. Let's upgrade the wine estate. Six turns to get all that new tech. Hmm. Actually, actually, where's my wine estate? Let's. Well, actually, no, I want to repair that. Sorry, cancel the wine estate because I do want to get some replenishment for these guys. And it's not enough, but you take what you can get. Let's move these three units towards you know keep them where they are i just need more i need to i need more troops I need to recruit some people at this in petersburg because we've got this army as well it's marching up to petrovskaya so we've got a couple of battles to fight i mean i'm not sure i want to attack moscow i might want to keep them keep them sweet in which case they're nicholas farquharson 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 whatever is going to... actually, are you? No, I'll, I'll sit here and let them... Well, I need to do a bit of re replenishment, so it's in my interest to kind of hunker down for a bit. So let's hit end turn. Oh yes, our fight's in the, in the uh, Caribbean. We're definitely going to fight this, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. To, for the battle for this assault from Elias Haskett and his force against the French positions in Martinique. Cheers everyone.